Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for uh, Thursday, January 21st, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, or our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're welcome, very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, the cryptocurrency market had a horrible day today. Most cryptocurrencies were down roughly 6-10%, even higher than that. Uh, well, we pulled back at the end of, uh, of uh, the US session. And uh, it is technically just more of the same. It is the 20 exponential moving average. We are, we are piercing it and then we are rallying above it and basically stopping just above. However, these technical indicators are looking dreadful and they haven't been looking this dreadful for a really, really long time. So I did speak, um, try to now um, put this triangle up here yesterday. And as you can see, I was, I was betting on this going the opposite direction towards the 40, but it didn't actually go to the, the, uh, the other direction. It basically broke down uh, below and towards the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at the technical indicators as well, this is not a really good sign for Bitcoin. If we manage to break the 20 exponential and start trading underneath the 20 exponential, then that is a very clear sign that we are heading towards $40 for $40,000 it should be for, for Bitcoin. Um, that is probably as low as this will go at this point. We will run into the 50 moving average at that point as well. But this is not a very good sign for Bitcoin. All, all of these technical indicators are turning around. We are pierced the 20 exponential. We are broken through to the downside in this triangle. And uh, that is a clear sign that we are most likely going to go lower. So if we look at the sorry, weekly chart, you can see that it is starting to turn around here. So we have tested the 40,000 uh, 30, level before, but I think that this could actually go significantly lower. It is, this is still very, very stretched. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements, we are fairly far away from the first Fibonacci retracements. So that is down at the 27,000. And the 50 is right here, just above the, uh, the 20 exponential moving average on the weekly chart, and that is at 22,700. This is actually where it should go to and would be an amazing buying opportunity if it fell all the way down to this area. So it has been very volatile. It has shown signs of weakness. 40,000 is going to be a massive barrier to get through. It's probably going to be similar to... Um, the 20,000 previous 20,000 level, which we spent roughly four weeks uh, before we broke through that level. And it will most likely be the same here. When we break through this, it will jump probably five, 10,000 points uh, to the upside. But at this point, even the weekly chart is, in, is starting to look much weaker. We are at 84 in the, in the RSI. CCI is turning around, Stochastic is turning around, and the MACD is basically becoming flat. So it is probably a clear sign that we are going to get lower. Uh, either way, I will not even uh, think about entering this for a buy until we uh, get to a level that is basically reasonable. This is just an absolutely parabolical move to the upside, and to um, start buying here is, well, it's just a massive amount of risk that you're taking. So let's look at Etro. So we'll look at the daily chart first. So we did break down towards uh, 1234 and then pull back all the way down, you know, all the way up to 1331. So uh, Ethereum has basically been outperforming Bitcoin and so have many of the other cryptocurrency, the the. The, the bigger cryptocurrency, they have actually been outperforming Bitcoin the last few days. So we haven't touched the 20 exponential. This looks much more bullish than Bitcoin is at this current stage. Also, this pullback here is looking very, very, very bullish. So forecasts for this cryptocurrency are basically out of this world. 
That's probably a reason why people are buying into this because they can see that they'll probably get a bigger profit or bigger gain of, of, of buying a cryptocurrency that is less uh, costly than Bitcoin, for example, and has uh, a brighter future. Uh, but technical indicators here are also slowly turning around. CCI is becoming negative, RSI is becoming negative, and uh, stochastic and the MACD are becoming flat. But if we manage to get down to 11.21, just at the 20 exponential moving average, that is basically your buying opportunity into this cryptocurrency with a target of these previous highs here of 14.28. So let's look at XRP. So nothing really is happening in this cryptocurrency. This was a fairly dense cryptocurrency for a really long time, and it is showing signs of basically the same thing. It's just going up and down, very choppy. So we're trading in between the underneath the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. We need to break both of these moving averages and the 50 and started trending upwards before, well, technically uh, even considering buying into this at this point, it is fairly dead in the water. Uh, technical indicators, they are either bearish or, or, or flat. So that doesn't show a lot, lot of, uh, a lot of sign of bullishness. So we'll probably stay here for quite some time before this takes off. You'll probably see movements in Bitcoin or Ethereum and the other cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency sorry, uh, before we see this going significantly higher. So let's look at the Litcoin. We can see that we broke down below the 20 exponential moving average and then rally again. And then now we are trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. So yes, as long as we are above the 20, we're not going to break down towards the 50. So that is uh, as simple as that. We are trading above the 50 in our 20 and that is acting as a support. And as long as that is the case, uh, we still, um, I'd still favor the upside. So 175, that is basically uh, where the target is at this point. We're trading at 145. Technical indicators are, well, at this point, looking very bearish. And probably because we had this massive fall today of roughly 8 to 9% at the, when it was most. So at this point, if we break below the 20 exponential, we're heading down to the 50 moving average at 118. And that should be a massive buying opportunity like we saw back here when we went all the way down to the 50. And since then, we have rallied from 110 all the way up towards 164. So, but at this point, 20 exponential is holding. And if we start rallying from here, then a stop loss running underneath and a target of these highs. That is basically the trade that you should make. So let's look at NEO. So um, this has been fairly parabolical. We went way outside of the Bollinger Band. If we look at uh, that and um, not way outside, but went outside and then we broke down. We broke down all the way down towards the 23.75. And then we pull back towards roughly 25.47. So 20 exponential, that is probably the bottom of this market. But the technical indicators here are showing signs of weakness. So we may drift towards the 20 exponential. And that is basically your buying opportunity into this cryptocurrency. If it turns around at the 20 exponential. So entry point is 21.92 at this point. Target is 28.48. Stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. And uh, yes, that probably will take a few trading days before that trade is possible. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.